Hi guys, I'm Dennis. Welcome to my channel, Guy with a Plant. Uh, in today's short video, I'm going to uh, cut up these cuttings as well as um, wet sticks of this variegated Epipremium pinnatum. Um, this is definitely long overdue. If you refer to the propagation video of this plant 5 months ago, uh, you would recall that I propagated the cuttings in water, palmers, uh, as well as also some uh, wet sticks uh, propagation. So this is long overdue because uh, some of the cuttings that were grown in water uh, were already potted up as well as uh, so. So yeah, some of the cuttings are gone. And I've only left with those uh, wet sticks propagation as well as that in the palmers. Uh, yeah, this one, if you remember. <laughs> this is still sitting in water, so I'm going to, um, yeah, pot them up together. So these wet sticks are sitting in this uh, container of sphagnum moss, and it has uh, outgrown uh, the container. Uh, it's together with these propagations of uh, Peperomia prostrata, the uh, string of turtle, and one, uh, this is the um, silver sword hastatum, philodendron hastatum, and also a leaf of Hoya coroniana super silver. So, so I'm just going to remove them from this uh, sphagnum moss. Oh, the roots are already so long. Okay, I finally removed the sphagnum moss from the, these two wet sticks. Took me forever. Uh, but yeah, the roots are looking really good. Okay, next, let's look at this cutting that has been placed in this uh, palmers propagation. Palmers with uh, water. Um, this cutting has grown unruly, giving me uh, several vines and uh, a lot of leaves because it's been here for five months. And it has even given me this totally uh, fully variegated leaf and quite a few uh, yeah, leaves like that. And they are turning brown because I think they are not getting enough light or nutrients because it has been sitting in water. Uh, yeah, look at this one. I am probably going to get further cuttings uh, from this because it's a really long um, vine. Okay, let's remove this and uh, see what happens. Yeah, remember this uh, massive root ball? trying to uh, be potted up. Actually, I have no idea how am I going to remove this because um, the roots are actually growing out of the drainage holes. Uh, this is going to be challenging, but yeah, let's see. Okay, looks like I've got to sacrifice this uh, plastic pot uh, by cutting through the drainage holes and hopefully remove all the roots. Alright, managed to remove the bottom part of the pot. This is what we have. Check out the roots. So actually there are two cuttings here, I realize. And the next challenge is to <laughs> Untangle the roots. Finally, untangle them. So I am. Uh, there are two cuttings here. So I'm going to further cut some of it because I can see some. Uh, you see arrow roots that are already growing on this vine. In fact, both vines. This one, there are arrow roots here as well. So I can just uh, snip them off 
and uh, just pot the one with the roots. Let me get more cuttings. This one has a totally white leaf, so the leaf will not uh, remain for long. Uh, but it has a good aerial root, so yeah, let's uh, root this further. Okay, this is the other uh, vine. Oh, so what's left is only one leaf and a very long leafless uh, stem. So I think I can cut this off. And I'm going to make more wet sticks out of this. So these are the two that I'm going to uh, pot up together with the earlier wet sticks. So these are all the additional uh, further cuttings that I got from the original cuttings that were in the Palmer's propagation. I'm going to give it the mouse pole uh, so that the cuttings can actually um, grow up and then attach their aerial roots onto the sphagnum moss and hopefully give me bigger leaves and also more fenestrated leaves. Okay, let's stuff this um, plastic um, pole with some sphagnum moss, moist sphagnum moss that's been mixed with um, some cocoa chips. So this is done. I'm leaving the bottom part uh, empty because this is going into the uh, potting medium. You use this aeroid mix which is very loose. Um, as you can see there's full of bark, cocoa chips, uh, perlite and palmas. We have decided to use this pocket pot, this plastic pot with a lot of holes in it. Um, so there will be a lot of aeration. And I'm going to use this to cover up the drainage holes. So I'm going to put in the moss pole first. I'm just going to put it by the side so that I can give it enough space here for the roots to grow. Okay, let's put in the first one with the most roots. So this will give it ample space uh, for it to grow out. And the other one. the two wet sticks okay, so this is done um, I've uh, potted up two cuttings that were sitting in palmas and also two wet sticks uh, yeah you can see the roots here so hopefully these cuttings will attach themselves to this moss pole as it grows. So as you can see, there are aerial roots here already. So hopefully it will attach itself to the moss pole. So I'll use a string to tie around it to uh, help it to cling itself uh, to the pole. So yeah, I'll keep you guys updated in a few months time to see whether these cuttings have uh, grown into a full grown uh, plant. So thank you for watching, I'll see you again in the next episode. Meanwhile, stay safe and remember to show your plants some love.